What is up, YouTube? RBI here, RBI Crew 7. We got crew. I'm working. He's working. Somebody's got to work around here in the background. And then we got Luna, who will not let me come shoot a video unless she's in it because she yelps because I'm not around her. So she's going to be in this video with me going over something we like to call around here El Trade Dionitio. Actually, it's just trade night. Trade night 22, baby. We are just eight days away from when I'm shooting this video, which is the Friday before a Saturday. That leads into a week away from trade night 22, guys. We are excited. This is, like I said, 22 since we've opened our doors in January of 2012. It has been successful because of all of you. May you've been supporting this in any way, shape, or form. We are truly grateful for everything you guys have done. So thank you from the bottom of my heart, Neil's heart, Lotus heart, everybody's heart. You know what I mean? Go with them. I'm just rambling on, geez. It's Friday, and I'm actually not gonna be in the shop tomorrow. I have to go to a wedding. So let's get into talking about trade night. You guys know how it goes. We literally get about 40 people to 50 on average. Bad ones, 35. That's like the lowest we've ever had up to high is 70. So we're expecting that 40 to 50 range. Doors open at 10 a.m., you guys know that. They usually close around 11 or midnight, sometimes 1, 2, depending on how it goes. But this one we are doing, a couple things we're doing with it. Obviously, you guys know BGS submissions. We do need those in no later than Saturday. Trade night 22, September 26. So if you're still wanting to get amongst it, please get those into us. If you need details, feel free to message me. We have a great run on this one, about a good 40, 50, 60 cards right now, but there's some incredible stuff on it, and we do have a lot of submissions coming in the week of. So please get those in there for a 10-day BGS submission. Now, everybody's like, are you going to do a case break? Of course we're going to do a case break. We want to do a case break, and we'll obviously record it for you guys on YouTube. So what's the case break going to be? Well, there's a new product that just came out. It comes out every year. It's called Triple Threads. Apparently this year, I'm hearing a lot of great buzz about it, so I'm very excited to announce we will be doing a nine box inner case. We're getting a full team box case. We're taking a nine box inner, and that's gonna be for our case break. So it's gonna be a total of 36 hits, right? Nine times four, 36? Sure, I think I'm adding up right. Yeah, it's been a long week. So 36 hit break, guys. Here's the breakdown. It's going to be a lot pricier than what we're used to, but we've had a lot of requests for it, and I think it'll fill no problem. So we're opening it up to those of you in social media, maybe YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, for those of you who can't come. So you're asking me, shut the heck up, tell us the details. I'll put them below, but I'm going to tell you right here. It's going to be $60 a spot. Now, we're selling 29 spots, but there are 30 spots. So you're asking, well, what's going on with this last spot? I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna take a little bit, a page out of BB Express's book. So what we're gonna do, minus my spot and minus Neil's spot, for everybody who signs up, will be entered into a random, and one spot will be awarded as a bonus. So if you join the break, however many spots you got, you got a shot at getting a free spot in the case break on 2015 Triple Threads Baseball. So $60 a spot. If you cannot make it a trade night, there is just a $3 shipping fee. That just covers everything we need to do. Um, all supplies will be offered, brand new, Top loaders, magnetics for the higher end cards. We provide that on our end, guys, for you guys joining. So 60 bucks a spot. We already probably can sell through our first nine boxes pretty quick and probably have to get another case in next week because this product goes pretty quick off our show. You guys probably won't look at the dog. She's just hanging out. She's pretty legit. You didn't even know she was there. So that's the Triple Threads break. That is the BGS submissions. There's a car pulling up, but I think it's going next door, so I can still talk. I hope everybody is doing well. Things are going really well. I'm going to go stop by a three-day show, about 45 minutes where I shop today, get some stuff JSA, take a look around. Maybe I'll shoot some video action for you guys if i got a little bit of time on my hands. And then I'm off for the weekend to uh, do weddings and watch a game called football. I don't know. I'm a little salty about the Vikings game. All my Vikings fans, my friends that are Vikings man, fans, man, man. that was, um, yeah. All excited and... Poof goes the dynamite. That's all I'm gonna say about that. So everything else, guys, is going extremely well. It is things in the shop are going better than ever. We are finally at that point, what I've said before, where we feel like we're at the next level. We've gotten there almost four years in. It's a struggle to get going when you start with nothing. For those of you who have followed us even before the shop days, back in 08 when we started YouTube. Uh, we've come a long way. And a lot of it's been the sport of you guys, and I tell you this, and I tell you again. We still love YouTube, and YouTube is the reason why we feel we are where we're at, because without all you guys in the support, 
and the just the keep us in this hobby to keep the love in our hobby through YouTube to watch videos to see that and the friendships we built I think it's really got us to the point we need to be in our shop so as you guys can see the background it's a little white over here we got some stuff and I'm getting some stuff JSA got to fill that up we sell stuff as soon as we put it out that's how crazy our member really is because it's all authenticated by legitimate companies and we price it better than anybody in town a lot of you guys buy from us too so thank you um, man I am rambling on so I touched the brake I touched the uh, BGS submissions. What else do I got to go with this? Uh, what, how, much, how many minutes are you at? Oh, like five. Oh, you got to figure out something. You I got 10 go. minutes. Dave, Josh, Johnson pinned up. So let me go into, I guess I'm a ramble. You can, turn a, you can turn a camera off now if you don't want to hear me ramble about the shows we're coming up to and what's going on. But if you want to hear where we're going to be at the next two months, I'm going to break it down every week for you right now and talk about some cats. Love you, Ben Neal Show. Just thought about you and David Stein on that one. Yeah. Speaking of, I got two balls back there I got to show off from uh, uh, from Ben and David, the hey, Indian Nationals. I'm not showing off my balls. I'm going to show off their balls in one video at some point. So, this weekend, nothing. Next weekend, trade night. Already established that. The following weekend, absolutely nothing for me. I got a wedding. And then I get to go on my favorite guy getaway, not work, but I do work, card weekend of the year with Crew 7 and a lot of other friends known as Sausage Fest in Minnesota with BB Express and the guys. Yeah, that is going to be, that is by far my favorite weekend. It is the most relaxed weekend for me because I still get to do cards, but I really just get to be behind the atmosphere and just kind of have a good time and really just chat with people about sports, about hobby, about life. It's not like go, 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 go work, but uh, my brain just doesn't stop. As you guys can tell, I'm always jacked up on coffee. So, Sausage Fest, I'm gonna break that weekend down because it's a big weekend. We get in on Friday. The 10th or 9th? 9th, think October 9th. We land Friday morning. Hoo Hoo Mania Rust, as long as Hammer, along with Hammer and then Mike Cancellari, will also be coming in that day. Josh BB's gonna pick us up. We're gonna go stop by Three Star for a bit. The shop, Three Star Sports Cards, gonna get another trade night. But this is Friday. Then we're gonna head to BB Express's house, BB Express 2 on Breakers.tv. He will be breaking Friday night from his house. We all, 20,000 guys, not really, like 15 of us, will be at the house breaking, joining every break. So if you guys want to come hang out that night and check it out, I'll plug that more. We're going to get lots of video action. Lots, Neil, right? We have no excuses not to get video of this trip, right? Working. He's not working. He's off that weekend. So we'll be doing breaks Friday night, the 9th. Going into Saturday, there is a show in St. Cloud that we're going to go check out in the morning. Then we're gonna go hit up a shop uh, that I know the owner Tom of. And then Three Star Sports Cards is gonna be having a trade night at their shop. And I've already told them you need to rearrange your shop because I'm gonna be plugging the crap out of this trade night. I'm excited to be to an actual trade night and not be the one hosting a trade night and hanging out and see what it's like on the other end. So that's Saturday and then Sunday's football, go home Monday, boom, that trip's done. Then the following weekend, nothing. Then the 24th, we have a three day show here at Westport. There's some great signers that. Uh, my favorite signer is Woo! Woo! 88888, Ric Flair. Woo! Ric Flair signed by tons of Cardinals. That's the 24th weekend of October. Then we go to the Halloween the following weekend. Then we leave into November 7th. We have the machine, uh, the Machinist One Day Show we help cross promote. That's a great one day card show going on here in town. It's on a Saturday. It's free admission, cheap tables, a really good crowd, loving the show. Third show they put on this far. Very exciting. Actual, when I say actual one day card show in this town, for the, the other show that's in town that we do set up at that we call the flea market show because it's not a card show anymore. Hence, put on a card show. Thank you. Thank you, Ron Essies, for actually putting on a card show. If you guys know Ron Essies, big time promoter here in the Midwest. This dog is still sitting here. I don't know if you guys know. She hasn't even moved. So, that's going on the 7th. Then the 14th of October or November. Sorry, November. Is that when we're doing trade night 23? We've got trade night 23 already locked and loaded. Make your plans. Trade Night 23 is November 14th, am I right? Is that right? Yes. I think so. Saturday, November 14th, Trade Night 23. That will be our last trade night of the 2015 calendar year. Thank you for another successful year of Trade Nights. We cannot wait to bring Trade Nights back in 2016, along with the big trade weekend pre-nationals in St. Louis that comes in April. We will announce that probably in the coming month as we make that plans in Minnesota to line it up. So then we got after that, we've got Chicago the third weekend of November. We will be set up at the Sports Fanatics, aka Sometimes Show, you guys know it as. Then the following weekend, Thanksgiving weekend, Neil will be representing his first card show, three day show, without me. A lot of pressure on Neil. With Tyson Magdorn, with John Yates Bundles, aka Cuddles, at the Cincinnati Moore three day weekend show, Black Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. 
Neil's on his own, and then that is it. I don't know if we have anything planned for December right now, but the holidays, we get pretty busy around here. We would like to go somewhere. We're hoping Louisville will kick one in early December, but it depends on the weather, maybe back to Omaha. That's it. Wow, it's almost, year's almost over, but football is back. I feel that the weeks go by so fast because I'm so excited for the Thursday, the Sunday, and the Monday night games my life's consumed. So I've rambled on to get us at least to 10 minutes. So I've talked about trade night. I still got a dog in my hand. Hey. Hope everybody... Hashtag get Tyson the Sausage Fest. Not going to happen, but hashtag get Tyson the Sausage Fest. So again, trade night next weekend, baby. So I'm going to talk about the next two seconds. Trade night. Actually, two seconds. Drop. Peace out now. Uh, trade night 22. Again, next Saturday, September 26th. Get your BGS submissions in. If you need details, drop a message below. Drop me a message. Email me. Call me. Whatever. Social media. Me. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. We're on it all. And then we got the case break. A 2015 Triple Threads 9 box inner case break. 60 bucks a spot. Get you a team in the break, 29 spots sold, one spot being random off, minus two spots, minus mine and Neil's. Man, I'm flying, rock and rolling at $3 shipping and handling if you're not going to be in here. And uh, I think that's about it. So I hope everybody has a great weekend. I'll see if I get a little video action in the show and upload it over the weekend. Until then, we'll get some more videos leading into trade night. Stay on me, guys. Tell me more videos because things get busy. I'm actually surprised we're slow right now and I got some killer time. Again, dog is still in my hand, it's literally chilling. So she is... Uh, Newest addition to my family. My wife loves her to death. I think she loves her more than me now, which is perfectly fine. She's happy. So, got to make the wife happy, right? I've rambled on. I hope everybody again is doing well. Thank you as always, guys, for your support. We would not be here without you, and I truly, truly mean that. I'm not just BSing you here. Thumbs down if you think I am BSing. I don't really care. Thumbs, Thumbs down. Yeah. Here comes the thumbs. <laughs> but seriously, guys, you guys know where we've been and we've come from, and it is truly a blessing. Getting into heart are here but I, I love what I do phone's ringing probably my brother or Bruce Corey I'll have to take this until then see you at school